Kia ora and welcome everyone. Welcome to Breathing Space. I'm really happy about our next guest. She's a dear friend of mine and I haven't seen her in all of lockdown, but I would love to introduce her to you. She's a filmmaker based in New Zealand with Korean roots. She works for stage and screen to create art to champion underrepresented and diverse voices. Welcome, Nayon. Hi, thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. I'm so stoked that I barely get to see you and I'm so glad you've made time for me during this weird worldly situation. Yeah, I don't think I've seen had time to see anybody. Well, I've had lots of time, I just haven't seen anybody. So it's really nice to see you even via, via Zoom. <laughs> How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good today. I feel... I feel like I haven't really like taken the time out to like ground myself and figure out and work through my feelings. Um, I've been trying to be more mindful during this lockdown period, um, but I don't know how successful that's been. <laughs> but I feel good today. I feel good today. <laughs> well, I mean, it, that is always a start for everyone. Acknowledging and accepting. Yeah. Step. Um, so I want to know who was in your bubble during the lockdown? So in my bubble, it's just me and my partner, Ooyang. Um, and it's been really good to have another person because I feel, I could have gone home to stay with my family, but I feel like there would be too many people for too long. Everybody at home um, would really get into each other's hair. So it's been really nice to have Ooyang because um, we've kind of helped kind of encourage each other, check face with each other. A lot of mornings we'd wake up and each other at ask each other how we feel and what we wanted to achieve that day. So that would be kind of our morning ritual. Um, and that way we kind of didn't help each other not lose direction during this time. So he's been a really great support system uh, in, this in this period of time. I want to know who were you or who have you become um, when your practice right. went on pause? So, before before the lockdown, I was kind of this like very, very um, compulsive, like productive human being that felt like I had to have a job lined up and I had to get all my stuff done. But I realized that that was kind of me distracting myself from what I really wanted to do and to kind of focus on my own projects. Um, and a lot of that was the anxiety of having to live within a system which I had to like pay my bills first and then um, not really have to nourish myself as a human being, uh, both mentally and physically. It was really, really hard. And then kind of all my jobs lined, uh, that I had lined up kind of stopped or suspended or put on pause until the end of the pandemic. <clears throat> and it was um, really, really anxiety inducing because suddenly I didn't know how I was going to like make my rent. Um, I didn't know how I was going to, you know, pay the bills. Um, I had some money saved up, so I was really fortunate and I've got family and friends that could have helped, but it was really, really scary for a period of time. But because of that, it gave me the mental space to be able to think about what I wanted to achieve during that time. And it was actually really clarifying to help me focus on what was important, but also what compromises I, w I was making in my life um so up to that point I realized that because I kept throwing myself into things that either I didn't really want to do or I was doing and it was really fulfilling but um it wasn't working on what I wanted to do um being forced to not have to work on anything actually gave me the space to finally be like let's focus on my own creative work and let's start um, just playing with some ideas. Um, yeah, let's start just like playing with some ideas, those ideas that have always been in like that, that junk drawer of your, of your desk, um, but you never acted on. So yeah, long winded way of answering, but it's been really grounding. Basically who you've been during your pause as you being a more of a refined artist basically yeah it's kind of given me the headspace to realize that um I need to actually invest the time into doing the things that I want to do now um and I can't keep pretending to distract myself because you know we exist in a capitalistic system <laughs> and I and I was measuring myself by that productivity and not necessarily by the things that I wanted to do
Well, honestly, I really hope that the breathing space is the beginning of um, further refining and exploration for you and as well as for like heaps of other people. I know for me, I've also done the same reflection of what is it actually that gives me joy and what is it actually about my job that I want to keep pursuing or want to upskill on. So I really applaud mm-hmm. that. It's, it is a rough time and there is anxiety is thick in the air and um, yeah, I really appreciate you being really honest and vulnerable about it. Thank you so much for joining me. Everyone, this is Nayon Lee and I'm Marianne Infante and this is Breathing Space.